Hello! <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to my channel, The Empress Speaks. Today is Friday, September the 15th. Freaky Friday. What you got going on, Leos? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's get into your reading today. Let's see what's happening. A lot going on everywhere. Thank you to my returning subscribers, my channel members. I appreciate you so much uh, for my new viewers. Thank you for stopping by. You guys make all the difference in the world to me as well. All right, so let's get into it. We've already prayed over the energy, charged these cards. We've got the food card at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's planning to take some type of risk or feeling like, you know, hmm, I don't know, feeling a little frisky, like they just want to be free with something. All right, we've got this Ace of Pentacles here indicating that your labor of love is paying off. There's something that you put in to motion a while ago and you've been working on it bit by bit. And every second you're growing, you're showing some growth here. When we see this Ace of Pentacles, it's surrounded by uh, some foliage and some greenery indicating that, you know what, it's labor, it's something that's growing, that a seed that's been planted and now it's flowering and it's going over an arch here. So the time is right to seek uh, or take advantage of the opportunities that you've created for yourself in the universe through hard work, okay? So definitely a good time to begin something, to start something, pioneer something. Thank you, Spirit. Too many cards, so... We'll see if they pop back up because anytime I say too many cards and there are too many, they generally circulate. Thank, thank you, Spirit. They come back. Okay, we got the World card. Absolutely. So there's an accomplishment headed your way, some, something very good um, that has been completed. Okay, you've worked on something, you've built this opportunity for yourself brick by brick. And with the world card, it's indicative of things coming together. All the things that you plan are working out for you, for the good, for your well-being, for the greater purpose that serves you. Okay, and you've had some, some weaknesses in the past. You've had some things that tested your resolve in the past, that tested your strength. Okay, but with this world card uh, coming after the Ace of Pentacles, it's just clarifying that, that that thing that you've labored for, what you've worked so hard on, it is going to come out or it has come out in your favor. So well done, my love. Well done. And that's what the universe is saying to you. Well done. You worked hard for this. You labored for this. And this is now your time. Okay? The universe is saying it is now your time. The world, the universe... It's a big opportunity, okay? And it's not something that is witnessed here in the physical, but it's also something being witnessed and cherished and championed in the metaphysical as well. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, and you've you've been toiling over this situation too because we've got this Nine of Swords here indicating that you had some sleepless nights. You worked late hours. You worked long hours. You put into this. You sewed into yourself and this opportunity and or business or person you've sold into them very diligently. And um, you, you've had to reach out, you know, a time or two to get the guidance that you need in order to make this very successful. So we've got the three of pentacles indicating uh, a sense of collaboration. You reached out to some when you needed help. And there's a king of cups at the bottom of the deck. So it might be an older, mature person um, that uh, gave you some tutelage or some training. Okay. Thank you, spirit. All right. So yes, we did talk about having some financial setbacks. So some of you have experienced that. And so you had to go back to the starting board. I often um, think of my myself. I've been divorced twice. The very first time I lost everything financially. The second time, damn near lost it all financially. So you had to start from... Um, to take some steps back, I won't say from ground zero or from the beginning, I started from experience. I restarted from experience from what I did know. And so you had to do that as well. You had to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and uh, you did a marvelous job of that. And so that's what this is talking about. You've had some setbacks and haven't we all, okay? Um, and these setbacks, you know, set you up for a major comeback, all right? 
Okay, can I get more? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, and you're also releasing yourself and recovering from, you know, this Ten of Swords in the reverse. You're releasing yourself. You're having a rebirth. You're kind of like, you know, that Renaissance woman. And, you know, you're coming back stronger and better than you've ever been before. You're regenerating, healing from uh, ultimate betrayal. Ten of Swords, that's a lot of swords to the back. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of pain. Okay, a whole lot of pain. So, um it's like the raven coming from the ashes, and that, that is what I'm getting uh, from your energy, Leo. All right, and this could be someone with air in their sign, particularly a Gemini, Libra, or um, Aquarius, Earth signs. We've got Virgo here, Capricorn, um, Scorpio, heavy on the air out here. Um, Three of Cups indicating that you will be celebrating all of your hard work soon. You're celebrating with those who help you achieve some greatness. Um, maybe it's, a, I'm hearing grand opening, grand opening. So it could be some type of um, uh, e-commerce business or um, a physical location as well. So you are definitely celebrating something related to finances here. The card that came out here on the side was the six of wands so it could be a fellow fire sign or this could be your energy but you will be uh, recognized publicly for not only your triumph but also your tribulations and your trials because your story is such one of inspiration to others so many will hear about your story of triumph thank you spirit all right can i get more on how thank you <laughs> baby you ain't gonna stop with it it is your time Definitely your time with this will of fortune, good karma, good things, success, change, fate, happiness, all of this stuff is coming to fruition in your life. That's what's happening for you, Leo. This is a beautiful reading. Well, yeah, you were left out in the cold. Yep. Spirit is acknowledging and affirming your feelings of being abandoned but it was at this time that your spirit guides and the most high was closest to you is when you felt alone yeah and then there's this ten of wands in the reverse yeah and this is fire energy here um indicating that there was some lying some irresponsibility those things were in your energy Okay, and that helped to create this massive tower moment for you that you've since overcome and endured and learned your lesson from. Okay, you had to you had to overcome a lot. You're very careless in some ways with your emotions, people you trusted, you should not have trusted. Okay, and this may not resonate with all of you. If this is your reading, please let me know in the comment section. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we the Fool card comes up again, and the King of Cups has come up again at the bottom of the deck. The Fool card indicating a new journey, a new opportunity, something refreshing like a baby, you know, and it could be, you know, it could be a, a new baby or new life coming into uh, fruition or into this realm or the potential for something new and exciting. I just see you like exhaling like, yes, I did it. You know, being so thankful and grateful for the opportunities presented to you. And there's going to be opportunities in the plural. New beginnings, and just an innocence, a beauty. I love to see the full card. All right, let's see. What do we have for love in this reading for Lee? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, shucks. The Ten of Cups. Happily ever after for you. Everything is working out. Everything. Everything that you planned is working out. You're blessed and highly favored and so abundant spiritually, financially, mentally, just in every way, everything is working out for you. Okay. All right. Let me get a little nosy here. <laughs> Let's pull from this oracle here. Let's see what we can find out about this love interest. And then we're going to get some angel answers. And we'll call it a day for Friday. We're going to not go hold you. Um, let today be a very quick one. Thank you, Spirit. 
Oh, we got way too many. Let's flip. Y'all know I mix my Sex Magic and Romance Angels deck together. What do we have for Leo today? Thank you. Hmm, had three of them popped out. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. We always talk about vibrating on the highest frequency of love. Reconciliation for some of you. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And this came in the reverse here. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. So some of you have already found that self-love, and that is a beautiful thing. And so you don't have to worry so much about putting yourself first. You've learned that lesson, and you have incorporated that into your daily practice. And that is beautiful. That's what we want for you. All right, I want you to be thinking of a question, Leo. Thinking of a question that you would like an answer to. Well, we're going to take this one. This situation will improve. Somebody needed to hear that. Spirit was like, I need to let them know whatever you're going through and growing through right now, that situation will improve. It is only temporary and you are much stronger than what your obstacle is. You're going to find some helpful people. Your soul tribe, your community. Yes is at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. So yes for some, no maybe. Um, so let's see here. Let's pull. You're going to find some helpful people, some soul tribe members that are going to support you. They are going to, it's up to you. It's up to you. Some soul tribe members that are going to be very instrumental in your teaching and upbringing and counseling. Some of you, the situation is up to you. You just have to trust yourself. You have all the information and guidance that you need in order to make a decision. And so it's really up to you. And for others, there will be success. Success. So that's a yes for some of you. All right. With that being said, we're going to end this with one last thing. We're going to do a one life purpose um, before we end it. And call it a day. What are your plans? Where are you listening from? I have been looking at the analytics. I've got some wonderful people listening from South Africa, from Canada, from Australia. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love it. Thank you for watching and being a very beautiful part of this tribe, den, and lioness pride. Thank you. Cards everywhere. Okay. I'm going to take the first three that came out here. Teaching. All right. You inspire young people to learn. So I'm definitely communicating with teachers. That's your life purpose. Author. This has come out before. Okay. So I've got a returning viewer here. Uh, Spirit is telling you, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Make the time to write it. Spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. This is the first time I've gotten this card. So I, there is a spiritualist um, listening. And your life purpose, if you're wondering, it is it. You have walked into it. So continue to refine your craft. Work very hard and trust yourself. Trust the universe and trust your inner spiritual guidance. All right. That's all I have for you today, everybody. If you need me uh, for anything, a personal reading, the information will be in the description box below. Please continue to support the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And as always, take care of yourself and each other.